Okay, they've, they've been forced to run back and lick their wounds, but they ha they really don't have anything left. The treasury is tapped. The uh, the manpower is gone. Even the advisors are leaving. <laughs> yeah, who needs advisors? Uh, who needs advice yeah. when you've got cannon? Well, said cannons are a bit old and busted by now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> actually, why was this war declared? Look, I'm not going to take that question from someone who doesn't know what war is. Yes, um, declare a war... Then we'll come back and discuss. <laughs> yes. And I mean a proper war against a real player. <laughs> <laughs> People that declared the war are probably dead. That's a good question. Is any ruling monarch alive from the start of this war? So, uh, Tsar Tsin Tragilid from 1718, they inherited the war. Of course, the great consul inherited it. Uh, Sultan... Murderhoof. <laughs> Murderhoof. <laughs> nope. That, I mean, all the defenders are wondering what this war was ever about. Canopies in 1702, 1711, 1705, 1695, 1695. close, but yes. still inherited. Is anybody else even involved here? Nope. No? I think Now, we're... Phrygia should be out of peace now. I don't think Phrygia is going to be jumping into this. Just a hunch. I mean, it's Tregulia that, uh, that was involved in this. And, uh, yeah, they can't bring them in because they were already brought into Oh, no, you got to go to Tragulia. Are you, are you playing Tragulia? Okay, yes. So, uh, granted, Phrygia have built up, but I don't think they're about to jump in on this one. I suppose his alternative there is to go, go and grab some welfare. Mm-hmm. I mean, hey, I mean, who's going to defend Zikania? Well, granted, Britannia might. That's probably a strategic alliance. Yes, Britannia has been helping Zikania bring welfare to the Uzbek people. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Alexandrian separatists have been uh, brought away again. My ruler came to power in 1705. When was the start of the war? 70, uh, no, 1694. Yeah. Let's get accurate numbers on that. I won't be having any... Uh, 1694, date unknown, but... Oh, we're being highlighted to be told we did not check the R&B. Uh, uh, 1721, oh... Uh, just, just but a baby. Well, actually, that's the Regency. So, not even, yeah. not even... Yes, yes, Bratton just, did indeed declare the war and then delegated the completion. <laughs> yes. I mean, is anybody... Does anybody remember when this war started? Where were you during the Great War? Even the welfare bringers? Close. Close, but, but no the, cigar. At age of 50, he still can't remember why the war started. And the cheese hall? No, oh, even God, less no. so. Okay, but oh. hey, war, it continues to fuel itself. But it looks like that battle is lost. No. And there's the thing, people are now pulling out, thinking of themselves rather than their allies, and it's just causing that war score to oh, spiral out of control. It was a trap, claims <laughs> Fido. <laughs> Admiral Fido. <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't been doing more in the way of blockading. I guess it's because they didn't have the... Uh, that range, uh, quite possibly. Well, now Aquitaine has been relegated to deep siege <laughs> yes. roles. He's finally found his level, crushing rebels. Kill the rebels, <laughs> siege up Lubeck. Oh well, testament to job well done there. Mm -hmm. He's uh, D note knows his level. Mm -hmm. This war will make even World War One trum tremble in the might of it. Indeed. Were the casualties in World War One. <coughs> well, the military dead was around about two or three million, but then there was uh, lots of um, injured people from various. Yeah, but I, I mean that that's all abstracted here in uh, this wonderful, very red map mode of devastation. So uh, it used to be more widespread, but Constantine was fortified and brought back. But Tragulia, it's seen better Whoa. days. Oh, jinx! No, that, that's pretty tragic. Yes. Sad. Lubeck at 86%. Not much prosperity there. No, not much prospect of prosperity there at all. However, they... they, uh, they well, Wikipedia says that. more than 41 million. Just goes 40. to show, really... I'm, I'm going there off the top of my head yeah. there. Yeah. To be honest, <laughs> I didn't go round... The very top. I didn't go around and count all of them. <laughs> not quite a hundred years war, but still pretty spectacular. Okay. Total number of deaths include about 11 million per, uh, military personnel. Okay. About 7 million military casualties. There we go. We've got our, we got our numbers. Yeah. Blondie's on the case. Making me look stupid for the... <laughs> 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 
Oh, but now we've bumped up into 6 million dead for the attackers. So we're looking at about 9 million dead in well, this we, war. Maybe the defenders have gone to 4 million. Uh, they were at 3 when we just checked their 3. So we're looking at about 9 million. There's there's still plenty of time for people to die. Let's, yes. let's not... Uh, I know, we're now at 72% war score. Yeah, and the defender numbers are dwindling Devis. like crazy. Yeah, I mean, the problem here is Tragulia is going to struggle to rebuild his army. Yeah, he's barely got anything to rebuild with anymore. If yes. you look over at him, he's got money, but he's in a heavy deficit. Most of his land is gone. He's even losing great power status. Come on, Ale Alexandria making comeback yeah. here. But here's the thing, he hasn't got the uh, he hasn't got the institutions embraced. Actually, not many people do. Have, have we checked out much of the enlightenment for a while? I don't think there's much enlightenment. No, going on. Not, not to be had around here. Yes, I like, I like how when you look at this, you see Tregula is just all red. Yes, <laughs> nothing but red. Well, I mean, the Kuba Lubins feel pretty enlightened, and it spawned the enlightenment actually spawned here. It just didn't get very far. Yes. <laughs> just, just said, Is saw that... this, got on a boat, and went, okay, where can we go? <laughs> oh, sorry. Mm. Oh, I think first the stab time, hits. Yeah, I think the time for stab hits is upon us, and Tregulia cannot hold out against it. No, they've now got it. It's now all or nothing for the defenders. Yeah, on the uh, on the plus side for Nevaluki. Viva la revolution. They're not it. They're not at any risk of losing anything here. No, they can't lose anything. Uh, they haven't been occupied. In fact, it's in their interest now that the war is going uh, particularly badly for them to go, all right, it's been fun. I'm out of here. Because uh, Tragulia is probably not going to survive this partition very well. If we look at it from, let's say the land were to go to the canopies, uh, he could be eaten up in three bites. And I think uh, if one bite takes away a third of his country, there's not going to be much left. Oh. But never one to, uh, to yeah, admit any luck, defeat. really. Oh, yeah. well, wow. Ra oh, jeez, those rolls. Oh, and his allies were just too late. The coordination is yeah. not good enough. Tregulia once again wiped. One, two, three, you're out. <laughs> is there a map mode for great powers? No. Someone wants to see devastation. Well, yes. Yeah, we had a look, and here it is. Yeah, notice that it's almost entirely localized within uh, Great Tragulia. Hmm. Yeah, the rest of the world have their splotches, especially Uzbek, but we could put that down to the cheese hall. Well, no, I believe this is welfare. This is um, this was Sicania mm. spreading the welfare. Yeah. But apparently, you've got to destroy before you can build something better. Yeah. Well, I mean, y you've got to add ashes to the ground to really fertilize it, so yes. it all works out. Okay, Aquitaine are on the offensive here. Never looky. Well, about feeling, time. They're starting to feel the cold sweat, knowing that if uh, if they get attacked here, their land is up for grabs. Yes. And but call for peace now. Yeah, call for peace has been called since that war score has gone way too high. Well, Our canopy is going to. How was Tragulia's stability here? It's still plus two, so that means they've not tried to stab hit him. Yeah, they're just they're just doing a casual stab hit here and there, it seems. One, one does not simply walk into Tragulia, yeah, it but, seems. Uh, given the numbers, I think the uh, the furious finger of the Starnan has shifted things to such a case that they got to start thinking about how to get out of this war. And here comes a peace deal. What are they asking what for? What indeed are they asking? Lubeck, another two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight provinces. Am I counting that right? So One, it's two, definitely, three, four, definitely five, six, a fairly seven, eight, significant chunk of territory. Nine provinces, and that's that's a whole lot. Oh, Dragulia will never know power projection again. Ah, power projection, it's just a statistic. It really is. Now, does he accept? Yeah, will we get stab hit for that one? Mm, I probably should have checked that. It didn't look like he got a stab hit. I didn't hear anything no, or me see neither. anything. But uh, honestly, eight provinces... You know, that's like almost a million Oh, there we go. Province. Stab there it. There we go. He tried, basically, just let it tick down. But at this point, what does he hope for? You know, Britannia has made it quite clear that they're happy to watch uh, all the mainland burn. Yes. Unless even even can, Nebulucky. Has... I don't know. Can Fido raise one more army? I mean, he has an army here, and if he was backed up with the North Kubalubans, he could do some damage. But the aggressors know they have the advantage. They've got their troops in position. And this could be a one more... Oh, One, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten provinces they're demanding Basically, now. he's pushing it up. Yeah, they should really take it. They're not going to get better. Daniel fought to stop the revival of Great Tregulia. Yeah, he's <laughs> back to do it again. I'm surprised he'd ask him to release Preussen. Oh, God. He's, just, he's, oh, he's doing it again. <laughs> somebody, somebody stop him. 
Why is Britannia Chinese? Why isn't Britannia Chinese emperor yet? He lacks ambition. He really, really does. This He's, is this is the least ambitious Britain. He I've lacks seen in a moral fibre, really. You know. Yeah. He does know he's Sean Connery, though. All he does is hang around here, going on vacation. Mm -hmm. Can't release Prusin, says Starnan. He's very sad. Well, there's the thing. You get that absolutism, and you reduce those foreign cores. So I don't think there's any Prusin left to be had. No Prussian left. Oh no, dear. No, he tried. No Granted. Prussian, no cry. I think he's. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What what can they do then? If I could, uh, if I could wrestle control away here, I'd love to check. But so what what would they be looking for? Yeah, maybe just release Maria, and we can all call it. Yeah, Job I believe that's only fair. Or done. can they um, get what? But to get an idea of just how much they could be asking for, you know, at this late stage in the game, provinces, there we go. provinces can them. really be uh, be demanded. Right, there are peace. Peace was rejected. War is Tragulia's stability now. Uh, still. No, no, that's we're on cups here. Yes, we are. Well spotted. Minus one. Mm -hmm. oh. Still being asked for the war taxes, but it's just getting worse and worse. He's really got to accept it, or else it's only going to be disaster for the. They are minus to... two. And here comes the fight. Is this, yeah. this is the penultimate piece. Could be. Tracheleo has no admin. He cannot raise stability again. Yeah. Oh well, could he give it one last hurrah? Oh, there oh, we go! Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, oh. Hold oh. the line. Stay on target. <laughs> I don't think there's any saving him. Oh, oh there are oh, peace. There we go. Now, did Canopies get his victory card? That's a good question. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, he did. Uh, Red Ruthenia. Yes, all of Red Ruthenia. Uh, a reasonable chunk of land. And without too much border core, I would ask. Yeah, actually, I want to uh, commend Starnan, assuming this was Starnan's uh, offer. For ensuring that we do not see another border gore galore. Border gore extravaganza coming. Yeah. No losses for the iridescent, as far as I can see. No, no losses for Nevalucky. But revolutionary Nevalucky. Yeah, revolutionary Nevalucky. Let's not forget that. Yes. But it was Trintragula. You know, they were the war target, and they were the ones to they suffer. They took here. one for the team. I was sitting there discussing with Dino down the pub. Really? As you do. As you do. Yes. And he was saying that he felt one of their biggest early mistakes was this decision to try and get land from everyone. Mm -hmm. So they went they went really at the iridescent horde early, but because of the Carpathian Mountains, it funneled their army into a narrow area, and there they'd started the attrition piling up. If they'd gone north of the Carpathians with more space, which was ultimately Starnan's strategy, mm -hmm. they then were able to knock out Tragulea and win the war. Yes, indeed. You know, taking care of Tragulia, ensuring that war score was there to do as you please. That, yes. was, that was quite important. Knocking Frigia out wasn't too much of a stress uh, strain for them. And really, though, it didn't Plus, uh, Starnan's pro finger skills made sure that Frigia actually did get knocked out. So now that he's he's won the war, he can do whatever he wants with the country, I guess. Yes. You know, he, he has completed his election mandate. Yes, he's now free to pursue alternative policies. Mm -hmm. Low Byzantium. Where is it? Oh! Well, damn! Starnan frees Byzantium. There we the go. The phoenix is rising, well, people. Well, it's a limited rise. It is a vassal of the Imperium. Mm -hmm. uh, well, still, you can't... Oh, wait! It's the province of New Prussen. <laughs> yes. So there we go. Yes, the phoenix has arisen. Let's take a quick look over at them. Uh, they got a whole load of nothing around here when it comes to this. They got all their Byzantine ideas fleshed out. Yes. Religious, administrative, innovative. That sounds like the Byzantium I know. I'm just waiting for Dino to declare war on them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll help you. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, despite it being the Imperium that launched this war, they got two provinces out of it. A staggering 26 development. And canopies, canopies was the one to, to eat and eat. Healthily. Yes, but canopies, when you look at the casualties. What I'm looking at is this victory card. Are the canopies going to have to give it up? Well, that's the thing. Also, Starnan is obviously not bound by any deals. He could cheerfully. So, 
Katz is at war. So we should go around our wards here. Alexi yeah, Van has gone yes. to war. Alexi Van has taken out the bagels once, more, once, uh, once more, again. Once more unto the bagels, dear yeah. friend. And the bagels are uh, did, did, still did. still a few chews until they're digested. Yes. Uh, Elinari over in Japan has got a wee cheeky war going. Yes, they do. Zapotec, Buryatia, Shiba, Fox, Yaroslav. I'm not going to pretend to know where these nations are. Oh, oh. oh taking over... Uh, Carving out own little piece of... Didn't this all used to be Brexico, or...? No, I don't think so. No, no, I guess it never was. No. Oh, well, slacking, you know. For all, for everything he does, Britannia has been slacking. And Katz finally moves into Florida, mercifully. Yeah, well, there's, there's some rebuilding to be done, and he's going to be the man to do it. Yes, uh, very topical. Yes, and also, he's also got war going against, I assume, no one important. No, not at all. Also, the Zapotec. So it seems like Catalonia and Japan have uh, decided to make an alliance, probably in the attempt to make the western seaboard of America as colourful as possible. Ver veritable rainbow there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we've just got clown vomit right here in, uh, in Mexico or Brexico or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, we also have our laser enjoying a, a bit of a... A, a... a war for them. Lebanon, Wu, and Ryukyu. When does the final victory card spawn? Uh, 1750, so oh. we're 17 years away, and given that it's only 4 p.m., we might just have time for it. Mm -hmm. It will okay. soon be one colour, says Katz. Katz has been pl promising us for a long time that, you know, I will clean up my oh, borders yeah, here. People with better memories than I do remind me that it was actually never lucky that it was in Florida. His, ah. And appears to have sold his colonies. Yes, they are Novgorodian. Okay. Shinto provinces. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's probably, probably going to be a liability for them, actually, but, well, there you go. Yes, and um, shall we check the scores on the doors after that epic war? Yes, and... What do we have here? So, unsurprisingly, runaway victory for Britannia and the uh, Imperium Coup. But uh, when you look at it, it's just one victory oh, card away from see some propaganda Switching. here from Sevakur. The war is over, yet the oppression of the Imperium will not end. Will our <laughs> saviour Daniel finally do the right thing? I wouldn't bet on that one, mate, really. No, <laughs> no. The, the, the oppression of the Imperium? By who? I mean, if we look at you. Help, help, I'm is there being anybody, oppressed. <laughs> is there even anybody? You know, your enemies are all those that you just fought and destroyed. No alliance with the Britannians at all. Whilst the Britannians, well, actually limited friends. No alliance friends. Britannia either. Limited friends there. Mm -hmm. But they're calling out for your sucker, Daniel. Yeah. Check Daniel's Chinese development. Well, I mean, he's taken over the uh, half of China here. Yeah. Of course, it is random development, but it's still pretty good around here. So, I mean, Nanjing at uh, 41, a whole bunch of these coastal ones looking quite pretty in the 30s. Mm -hmm. Got some tea, got some chinaware. Yeah, it's it's, it's okay. fairly lucrative. So, how's back to our scores? Yes, yeah, so with those two making the clear runaway, Canopy is actually looking uh, pretty and good. Plus, he's got another 2,000 to come. There's no 3,000 for Red Ruthenia. Yeah, so that, he's actually going to be a contender. He will be a contender. His score um, accumulation isn't quite matching up, but he just needs to puff out his chest a bit. Or yes. maybe even secure another uh, another victory card and he'll be good. Mm -hmm. Yes, now North Kuba Luba is in fourth place, way behind. Yeah. An but awesome a, number, but... Uh, but potentially 4,000 points on offer for him, which would then put... Yeah, he just needs to slay the Iridescent Horde, and he would be drinking those points. And after that fight, and given that his, uh, his enemies are a big, chunky load of country away, why would he not? Mind you, let's go down to our next one, which I believe is Never Lucky. Uh, never Lucky, Never... Oh, no, no, Ceylon. Ceylon there... He's building up his victory points there. Yeah, he's almost capped out on the victory cards that he had, but if he gets his 4,000 as well, whilst nobody else does... And he can also, if he's also going to start seeing about pushing up his score this month. Yeah, so this isn't looking too good. His admin, dip, military, he needs a bigger army and a lot more income if he wants to... Yeah, maybe to build a bit of a fleet as well, that would be... Would make a difference. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, some people have their vanity fleets that really bring this up, but... Yes, but it's all there just for the dip rating. I mean, uh, now revolutionary never lucky sitting there in the next rank now he's now he's clocking on more points how many victory cards does he have he's looking okay but he doesn't, None. Have a, he doesn't have a single one he's not looking to backstab anybody for his cards and he would you, have but to, could he convince his allies he would just have to say listen up uh, kubaluba 
I want mine off the iridescent. You want yours off the iridescent. I think we know. Well, what can we they do here. this? Basically, do a deal. Push. Will the West Eastern Block push one of their number up into contention? The difficulty is with that amount of cannibalization. Any further wars would see them destroyed. I mean, they can't afford to lose Only one of their numbers. Only if they lose it. Well, this is true, but I don't think that the Western alliances are going to be any more shaken up. Unless, of course, Starnan says, I fought the one war, I won the one war. Yes. Canopies, you want to keep the oh, fight going? Oh, Blondie's asking problem. where are the Iridescent Horde's victory cards, because that's... I think the Iridescent Horde are also asking that. Yes. Uh, Cheese Hall, Nevaluki, and... Uh, yeah, and Kubaluba. Not Kubaluba. The most expensive one being on Revolutionary... Never lucky. And Kubaluba it actually straddles the two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not so not so fun on how they divided this up, but I think Jorn got the, the better slice of that. Yes, can they trade victory card for victory card? They might be able to. People want to know about Gnevenom's development. Well, <coughs> somebody had to. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40 50, 56. Not what, bad. What is he going for? I don't think he believes in armies. No, he's, um, he's let go of that. Yeah, but he's got level 8 forts everywhere. His income's pretty good for someone with four provinces. Mm -hmm. And despite having all these forts, they're not that expensive because he's mothballing every single one. Why would he even need to worry about it? He's allied with the country that keeps him completely closed in. Oh, Gnevenom says you missed three provinces. Oh. Mm -hmm. Where are Gnevenom's three other provinces? Oh, -ho. curious. Oh, oh, what? What what madness is this? So the Gornyasia owns and has a core here on... Well, someplace. Fuzzy. And of course, uh, Bushibi. Apparently, he's been buying provinces. Now this, this is normally not at all possible. However, I'm willing to bank that he has taken the unrestricted conquest uh, age ability, which allows him uh, to core wherever, whenever. It allows you to yeah. conquer and core land wherever you want. So he can expand, no longer contained by the clutches of canopies. The day of the Gornyasian Empire is upon us. Yes. Although, I mean, it, it could could do with it. I've seen bet other empires are yeah. available. <laughs> yes. <In laughs> and fact, that explains that one. <laughs> yeah, I, I just thought some country had spawned in Koch, but no. Yes. Uh, he, he's, he's doing... Something, I'm not sure what, but he's doing it. Someone wants to know who's the world leading producer of salt. Well, there is only one salt producer in our streams. Mm -hmm. I know I'm asking the really hard hitting questions. Okay, uh, let's take the saltiest province I know, Crimea. And uh, we take a look at it. Uh, yeah, that's Grand Banks fishery stuff right there. So, who is the leading producer of you? We go to our ledger, we go to Economy or was it trade? Oh, it's probably trade. It's a trade good, right? Trade goods. Trade goods. Strategic goods, right? Who's got the market share for salt? Trading bonus and production leader. Canopies. The canopies. They produce twenty-one and a half percent of the world's salt. Interesting. Whilst they trade in, we'll have to check them for that. Tell me about the salt. Tell me of your salt of your home world. Seventeen point six. Not sure if those numbers add up, but whatever the I case can't. is, I don't know. He produces and trades in the most salt. Does our canopies? Oh. Is that just uh, something about oh. the Germans? No. Someone's pointing out that is Gornia Sega doing institutional spread cheese, where he sells provinces to people and then they spread his institutions out into their. That would be interesting. If we look at Gornia Sea, I wouldn't be surprised if they've embraced it. Yeah, they have got the Enlightenment. And now they're spreading the Enlightenment. Oh, oh there we go. So it's going to appear here because it's their no, province. No, but if you go over to Salon, yeah, that's all of a sudden Salon is discovering Enlightenment. Mm -hmm. Courtesy. It's going up a bit slowly, though. It would help a lot more if they actually allied or had friendly relations with Gornia Sea. But uh, still, quite a, quite a move. Bjorn B is at war. What is he up to? Oh, he's taken out Patalia at long last. That horrific yellow nation has existed for far too long. Now they're getting theirs. Get spots coming to him. Yeah. So they're they're losing against North Kubaluba, but they're winning against Lebanon. Well. Hmm. I mean, how to be fair, our laser softened them up. Quite nicely. I mean, our, our laser Ceylon is looking pretty mighty. I, I gotta say, for our uh, for our underdogs in uh, in Bjorn and our laser, 
they've really performed their best here. Well, I mean, our laser has just never got a break in any of our streams. I mean, e he's even in the start of this. Yes, he's sitting there in that swirling melee out in the steps. Someone had to die, and it ended up being him. <laughs> the so previous stream, there he is. He sits there. What was he playing? He got relocated to Africa. Yeah, he? mind you, you know, he went off in an all-out war against Beyond B, mm -hmm. all but won it, and then Rufo just sneaks in and saves Beyond B. Just was, was not to be. So yeah, we started out here in Ruthenia. He he backed the dark horse. He decided, you know, uh, Starnan's going to have my unconditional support. The feeling was not mutual, clearly, as no. we've had explained many times. You know, Starnan had never intended. <laughs> to back up any alliance here, <laughs> no. outside of the initial war. So Ruthenia got carved up, relocated to Central Asia. To, Ra to, to the Roman Empire, the, the Roman Horde. Yeah, the Roman Horde. And they're still holding on. Not sure they're quite so hordy, though. They're a bit more duchy. Yeah, a bit. I don't think anyone wants to be duchy. No. Ooh, yeah. yeah. It's all windmills out there. And now, finally, clocks. finally out there in Ceylon, where he he's has found, found his, his niche. Yep. And he's now getting enlightenment. Mm-hmm. So... It's been a journey, but I'm glad to see he's finally found his right. place. Right, how, how far are we from victory cards? 14 years. 14 years till we have those victory cards. Depends on the pacing. I'm not sure if we'll get them today or next session, mm -hmm. but we shall have to see. Meanwhile, Canopies just sits back with their enormous army, almost like they're gloating something here. Yeah, but another person who's building an enormous army yeah, is the Star Man. What's he up to? It's his forte. Yeah, what do we have here? Still tons of mercs, because he knows he can afford it. He's got tremendous amounts of money. In fact, he's reached his maximum mercenary force limit here with all these what units. What does he need all these troops for? What is he planning? Good question. I don't think it was the biggest of peace deals, so the truce is going to run out in five years. Is he going to go another round? I wouldn't be surprised if he did. I mean, this is Star an animal. This is Starnan here. What a pure animal that would be. Yeah. He's dividing them up into uh, 40 stacks. The ultimate late game stack, uh, 20 infantry, 20 cannons, no sign of uh, cavalry. No, ca cavalry appears to happen to other people. Mm -hmm. oh. yep. mm -hmm. oh. You can do an aspect of the faith. Oh. Yeah, I thought I heard a strange noise there, but uh, that, hap that happens yes. often. Mm -hmm. And then Aquitaine just sits back here doing absolutely nothing. It's their specialty. Mm. Well, he's good for it. Just embracing the uh, the border gore. Yes. But this this campaign really sets aside the ambitious from the definitely not ambitious. What is this though? Well, no. Speaking I believe of, I. Someone has a dream, which was Mari Nostrum. He wanted the coast. Mm-hmm. And obviously Starnan has been issued instructions. Remember when we talked about the shorter truce that Phrygia had due to being knocked out earlier? Yes. They're only allied with Tregulia and Iridescent, not with the Nevaluki cannons. And there we are. Alexandria has cancelled his alliance. They were allied. Oh, yeah. yeah that's yeah. where that truce is from. I don't think people are going to be jumping to save the Fridge people. And plus, I think you can see Cania might strike back here. There's you could see Welfare returning to his homeland. He still has those cores. He could connect up his land yet. Phrygia was never able to fully secure that victory card. No, he just could not get the one. Mm -hmm. I strongly suspect we're going to see That's the Imperium. That's war on Phrygia. He got the remaining Alexandrian provinces. No, Frid did Phrygia? No, which? these were Alexandrian, were they not? Yeah, no, but I don't think Phrygia took any of Alexandria's provinces. No, no, these nope. I believe were peacefully sold. We can take a quick look, for example, these ones immediately stopped being a core and were taken. They yes. were sold. So these were... It was fifth Attacking of, the fridge is cool. Fifth of yes, July indeed, here. Chad, that is yeah. true. A sorry display. I mean, Alexandria was given a decent offer. I will help you take Bagel. Kind, you surrender the Mediterranean to me. When you don't have people that are willing to back you up, that's not a bad offer. Well, you had the fridge. When you don't have people that can back you up. <laughs> True that. Not a, not a Has Phrygia managed to get an alliance going with them? Um... Phrygia is lacking on the alliance front. I mean, Tregulia were responsible for being wiped more often than not in the previous wars. Will and Starnan stay? No, I don't think so. I think when, when, when Bratton returns. So one, uh, one, it's time one week only. only. 
So I wonder if the defenders can go. Actually, Starnan, could you fight for us for the next one? I wonder if they'll do that. Inspired substitution. Starnan takes over Great Draculaea yeah. and then recaptures all the territory he lost. He is the original Condottieri, I suppose. Hmm. For sale. Mm -hmm. Starnan DLC. Uh, yes. I, I liked something in the forums, though, where somebody said, can I buy a DLC that makes Starnan fight my battles for me in <laughs> single player? Or even in multiplayer? Yes. Well, we've, 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 it's now available. <laughs> Although Starnan's prices are negotiable. Yep. Normally yeah, we'd so say there, there we are, are. We would say there are alternatives, but when it comes to Starnan, really, who can yeah. compare? Yes, so let, let's get a look at this. Phrygia, they're not jumping to defend their straight. I'm not sure, even sure if they see this coming right now. Well, they've got to see those ATK on their border. Yeah, they can't even... Uh... No, war has begun. War is beginning. There we go. Oh my, they're bringing in... Uh, bringing Everybody, in he's here. bringing everything. Okay, Phrygia is Aquitaine. bringing... Canopies as well, the rough village. Now here's the thing. Uh, you got to remember when Starnan is down here, he loves to say, I love the one-on-one -on -one fights, that's what I live yes, for. Yes, he hates hug boxes, but there comes Byzantium! Oh, oh Byzantium is here to reclaim what was once theirs. Bega may never fall at this rate, but it's the spirit that counts. Yes, it is. Yes, the, 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 the phoenix rises, people. Wow, okay, so when it comes to the alliances, they rescinded. Although an alliance was made with the revolutionary Never Looker, are they going to get involved? I don't know, it would be pretty suicidal. But let's see, what's Never Lucky looking like? I mean, he is... Uh, not that's... great. Manpower is low, but not gone. But I still think he heavily relies on mercenaries. Not mercenary cannon, at least, but he's building up. He's recovering. He, he still wants somebody to fight. That's all he's really looking for. He needs a meat shield. Oh but, uh, really... I, I... Starnan, I kind of expected a one-on-one. -on -one. That's what he always loves to, to tell. Yes, I know. But we're Star looking at, you know, about 100,000 on this side. Yes, feels bad, man. And then the attackers have 300, 400, 500, 600,000. Yes. For the man who hates hug boxes. I mean, you didn't, even, you didn't need to call them in, Starnan. No, there was no necessity. There was no need. He decided that when he is being attacked, yes, you know, this, these hug boxes, they're unacceptable. But yes. when he's on the offensive, never forget that on his first, uh, his first try here, he amassed a 10-man coalition to bring down a player. <laughs> and, you know, that, that was clever politics, of course. Yes, call in Daniel, people are saying. Mm-hmm. Can, can, can Daniel bring balance? Can to he this? call in Daniel though? That's the first question. People are saying call in Daniel. Well, I mean, you could always ally him and, and call him in, but. Uh, yes. Oh, this is just nasty. That's half of Europe and half of Africa knocking at the door of the fridge. And Aquitaine doing what they can to mop up those dastardly rebels. Aquitaine doing what he does best, fighting rebels. Yeah, okay, here we go. They do bring the fight against Byzantium, no less. But. Oh, it's men against boys here. Oh, no, 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 no. Starnan. I think he's... I think he's got an axe to grind. Yeah. Just just a suspicion there. Great powers can intervene on this war, so... Mm. This is true. I mean, if we if we look at it... Name a great power. Well, Britannia's Well, mediocre good, so. power. No. Doesn't have enough troops, he claims. <laughs> I can't do this. There's not enough troops involved. Okay, have never looky got involved? Nope. No, no, it's just Phrygia against the world. So who are they fighting? I mean, they're fighting the Imperium, the Canopies, and Aquitaine. So he's fighting three great powers without being a great power himself. And that's what stops people intervening. And there we are, Byzantium, people. on the march. Yeah, he's going to take land that's rightfully his. Well, I don't think it's a cord. Does, is it one of his Oh, cores? heavens no, he has no cores outside no. of uh, New Prussian. Cheese Hall is investing into itself by loans from is, the great Persian... Oh, Peasant Bank. Is Grugi lending money to himself? I think I, he is. Oh my god. So, I mean, it's, it's what he does best, right? If we if we have a look at the, uh, the Cheese Hall, where's that money going? What's going on? Even I don't know. Okay, so he's taking out loads of loans, sending them off, and then making his dosh. I hope he shares more of his uh, his banking spreadsheets, because people have been curious to ask. I, th I think two or three people want to know. 
But sometimes you'll realize that ignorance is well and truly bliss. Mm. I don't think that the fridge people know what bliss is right now. No. Fully occupied in the previous war, and now, you know, it's it's one thing to fight a war. Yes. It's That's another thing to get half the world to fight it for you. Yeah, I mean, this is... Oh, but wait a minute, I see a... Cheek, we, are they, they wanna, have they caught Aquitaine? Oh, Aquitaine, they're being punished for their sins. Yes, here we go. Forced to march home. Moving in for the kill here. Aquitaine is running, mm -hmm. but he's been caught. It and at least someone is getting punished for Starnan's yes. wickedness. <laughs> Starnan commits the sins, but Aquitaine is paying for them. Well, someone has to, and this is Aquitaine getting punished for being a dirty sellout in the previous mm -hmm. episode. Let it never be said that Starnan is a sellout. He fights on to that bitter end. Death to Dino, what someone calls <laughs> it. <laughs> Dino claims he was not paying attention, but oh. the Byzantine Empire is I on mean, the march. When he says not paying attention, does he mean just now or the whole... Uh, the whole in general. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but they were all oh, going after Ankara. This is a very bold move there from the Byzantines. Mm, yeah. They're just staking their claim, though. You know, Asia Minor was always Byzantine land. It always shall be. Yeah, well, to, to bring out three whole uh, units from this uh, it's, it's, it's less impressive. Than stellar province. So they're making their offer here now. It's. Uh, oh, 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 oh my goodness. Dear Lord. The Mary Nostrum has been almost complete. What does he need? Oh, and. Uh, the Byzantine, Byzantine Empire has got Cyprus. They've been richly rewarded for their contribution. As they try immediately to convert that province to Protestantism. Okay, one nation and one nation alone stands against this monstrosity. The Canopies. Will they sell? They hold two provinces, a staggering eight development. One of them doesn't even have manpower. Are they going to stand fast against the Imperium? I mean, the, the cups are going to want to uh, to bring it all together. Yes. It is all really connected, if you count the straight, but are they going to get these safely and snugly from the canopies, or will the canopies hey, we have say... wars going around. Da da did Daniel started a war? Daniel... Uh, come Le on. Lebanon. War... I think I think we have differing ideas of what war is war here. War it here, but Salon has uh, started a war. Yes, indeed. So our laser is carving up the remains of Kalundwe. Uh, they're probably just trying to prep up their forces against Yi, because Yi, that's a lot of united territory here. And so yes. Lon will want to play that cautiously, especially when he's still involved uh, enjoying rebels. The Fognoff, the Lithuania that we often forget about, is they're it? fighting Catsalonia. Oh! What is going on? Catsalonia is fighting Lithuania. Why? This is the Catsalonian conquest of Yuki. Now, that's him uh, up in Canada, isn't it? Is it? Oh ho! Apparently, he does not believe in multicolorism. So here's Yuki, owned by the Chachomes, which is a vassal. vassal of Lithuania. Now, granted, Catalonia is going to be waiting a long time if they want to force that peace option through. One percent. It's quite worthwhile. Uh, twenty-six, twenty-six, twenty-six. So technologically, doing just fine. Lithuania. Oh no! Well, apparently, he was. He did say he was um, making progress. I didn't even know what a Yuki is. <laughs> it's not like any of those little guitars people play. Uh, so, hold on. You, you oh wait, there's another war going on. You must know you have that subject, but where are they? Oh, okay, so their subject has been colonizing, and that's what they take issue with. Yes, a war against Tuscany. But not the Tuscany we know. No. This is D-Note, starting a war against the Tuscans. Obviously going after those Tuscan raiders. Imperialist war, well, I mean, who needs excuses when you have imperialism? Okay, so finally South America is being... Uh, Civilized. Yes. I mean, Tuscans, really. Mm -hmm. And they'll be back, and in greater numbers. Mm -hmm. So just uh, just trying to polish off that land safe in the knowledge that there's very little to stand against them here. The Imperium have not... What is going to happen here, though? I mean, I would be so impressed if the canopies turned around and went, No. Bring and it, then, star now. Then you know, sided with the Eastern powers to say, it's on, chaps. Because they're full of Eastern promise. Mm. But the thing about the canopy is, or rather, by Meneth, is that he, he's very proud of his deals. You know, he hasn't backstabbed anybody. He sticks close. He, he doesn't go back. And that is it. why he's only third place. 
This is true. But he yes, canopies will never go back in a deal. Do we do we have that coming in? Is that what? Uh... Well, no, it was Blondie who just made this clear uh -huh. on the. Well, well, we'll see. The canopies have every opportunity to go back on this deal. It might rob them of third place, though. Yes. But if they have to lose that victory card as well, then well, well, the they're thing surging is... up. If they had Venetia, they Venetia, yeah, that's a... actually it might be the best thing they could ever do for score. If they turn around and batter the Imperium black and blue with the Eastern Alliance, Imperium drop down, canopies surge up. Yes. Here's the other thing is uh, North Kubalu is up to 8,000. Has have the Eastern powers reshuffled? No, they have not. Up. Oh. No, it doesn't look like it, but they. I'm not sure if they've lost Phrygia. I mean, they're not keen to re ally them after that. No, Phrygia is probably not keen to get that alliance well, back. Well, definitely with friends like those. And oh, look, look who else is back. Sicania has gained some ground. Oh, I wonder if they just threatened for that or if they. No, I've got a feeling that was part of the peace oh, deal. Oh, but they lost a lot of cores. It's been too long. Yes, that was their last hurrah. Mm -hmm. But the Ebros are yeah. coming home slowly. Yeah, they still have a core on Jerusalem. So Cania considers a core province at least for the next 31 years. Are they going to get it though? And by not destroying Zicania though. <laughs> well, more Phrygia, to... Phrygia have allowed them to uh, survive. I don't think Phrygia thrive. really allowed them. I mean, Phrygia was had, had the cup sitting on their border. Well, no, now, now really they got, now they got to, them sitting there in more ways than one. You know, you always have to look west. That was where the danger was. Oh, wait. The roads as well for the Byzantine Empire. Didn't yeah, it? probably because he's over the overextension limit. So he needs somebody to give these lands to. The revolution is now trying to arrive in Byzant uh, Byzantium, but the cups say no to that. Yes, but this is a new island empire. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is their swimming pool unless the canopies refuse to give up this land. Now, surely there would have been a deal involved here. And we know we know Meneth and his deals. But he doesn't have to. There's no good reason for him to go through with that. No. In fact... There's his victory yeah. card. He's Surrender Venezia or die. So what he could easily say... So a lot of the top three is almost secure unless Canopies decides to change that. Or if the Eastern Bloc do some territorial reshuffling and put one of their number up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Iridescent would have to be chopped up. Mm-hmm. Iridescent. Yeah, the, the Iridescent have very little left to live for. Granted, they didn't lose out in that war, but it exhausted them. <coughs> How is that fort looking? Still outdated forts that we have around here. That's why, or at least part of the reason why they were so easy to cleave through. Mm -hmm. So, not too well. But we're being asked if the Daniel has any allies left. He has the Cania and Catsalonia. Catsalonia, I think, would struggle to project much of their power. I mean, they, they have but it they are very localized here. Rather substantial here. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, uh, in terms of uh, development, they are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're almost at the top. Looking amazing for themselves. But, like I said, they've just been playing single player over here. They've not been involved in wars. They've just been sitting back going, oh, yeah, yeah, this, this is very nice. Cool, cool. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, and that's why they get very little screen time. Yes. <laughs> what is this, though? That force has been there for most of the game. Yeah, it's been very disappointing. I've been ex I mean, not only that, but this land is fairly well fortified. And yet, he does nothing with it. Maybe he has no truces with the Aquitanians. He could oh, go nice. charging right in if he wanted to. There's an iridescent. Yes. We're gonna... No, no, he was just posting a screenshot of his old cavalry foot army. Yes, <laughs> yes. I think I, I think I know what that is. I wonder what... Uh, what did he choose here? I forget. What culture are the, uh, the iridescents here? Uh, maybe if I check the check the right country here. Tartar. Tartar Korea. Okay, I'll have to check that one when we get, uh, we'll get back again. up. Yeah, these these are the horses. Clop clop. Yeah. And if, yeah. If there's no valid horse, it defaults back to to this guy. So we should go and check out uh, what no, happened there's there. There's a lack of horses. Yeah, they just ran out of horses. <laughs> yes. We start with the cavalry. Just not many horses. Mm -hmm. What is that monstrosity in Greenland? Asks Zari. 
Uh, this never is never lucky, lucky in Greenland. Viva la revolution. Staggering seven development. Look, they even find some ivory up there. And the, yeah. the woolly mammoth lives on. A bit some narwhals. Mm -hmm. no, I don't think there's much ivory you can carve out of this little guy here, but uh, if they can try. He's chilling there. Yeah. He's sure. doing his thing. <laughs> You know, all that war rampaging through Europe, and he's just like, oh, I just want to be a bear. Uh, no big deal. Wondering... But we have we have peace in the world after what amounted to about real time of maybe two and a half to three hours of constant warfare. Yes. There is finally We're nine peace in our years time. away from our victory cards. We yes. might just get them in. Possibly. We've got half an hour left on the clock. Yes. But uh, at this speed, maybe yeah, so. Guys, it's no. walrus tusks, not elephants. Elephants? Who said elephants? You I said think. mammoths. Yeah, woolly mammoths. It was a program. You ever been I've, to I've Greenland? Seen, I've seen them on TV. They must be real. They made a whole documentary about them. I think they called it Ice Age. So good at a second documentary. Yes, it was one of those great flying the wall documentaries. Mm -hmm. Now, if there's Fido's loans have gone, yes. he's now got manpower again. He has manpower, quite a bit of it. Mm -hmm. he, well, he doesn't have money, but he has income. Not, not quite an income to match up to the central powers. 